During uh, ASCO 2022, three interesting works in the management of uh, the first line of therapy of RAS wild type metastatic colorectal cancer patients were presented. In uh, the plenary session, the Japanese paradigm trial was uh, presented, and uh, in the oral abstract session, I had the privilege to present the triplet study, and uh, another trial uh, in named IMPROVE was presented in, a na in the same session. This uh, ASCO meeting uh, uh, in the plenary session, an important Japanese trial in the first line of therapy of metastatic colorectal cancer patients has been presented. The name is a Paradigm. Almost 800 patients were randomized in Japan to receive upfront uh, chemotherapy, doublet, full FOX, plus either panitumumab or bevacizumab. Only RAS wild type metastatic colorectal cancer patients were eligible for this trial. And the primary endpoint was the overall survival in the left side of the subgroup and then hierarchically in the overall population. The results, the main findings, are that in terms of overall survival, there is a significant advantage from starting the therapeutic route of these patients with full fox panitumumab instead of full fox bevacizumab. In both arms, really very long durations of overall survival are achieved. There is a median difference of 3.6 uh, months and a clear separation of the course after 28 months of observation. There is also a significant advantage from the panitumumab to move up a based regimen in terms of a response rate with an absolute difference of 11% between arms and no special findings in terms of the safety profile which is well known for both the treatment options. What happens in right-sided tumors? In both arms the results are quite disappointing in terms of duration of overall survival and there is completely no difference between doublet anti-GFR or doublet plus bevacizumab so that we need a new options and potentially new targeted options for these uh, patients at the poor prognosis. So the take home message is that in left sided primary tumor there is again as expected but now prospectively demonstrated a significant advantage from using doublet plus anti GFR instead of doublet plus bevacizumab as upfront therapy. At this ASCO meeting, I had the honor and privilege to present on behalf of all the investigators of the GONO group the results of the Triplete study. Triplete was an academic no-profit trial where 435 metastatic colorectal cancer patients with RAS and BRAF wild-type tumors were randomized to receive one of the standard options, full FOX plus panitumumab, or an intensified upfront chemotherapy backbone, full FOX series, according to a modified schedule with the reduced doses of 5-FU and Derinotican plus panitumumab. So the objective of this trial was to verify whether when combining the chemotherapy with a targeted agent used in a molecularly selected population, it is worth of intensifying the upfront chemotherapy backbone. With the bevacizumab, we know that the answer is yes, sometimes. With the anti-GFR, is that worth of doing that? The answer is no, because in terms of objective response rate, which was the primary endpoint of the study, we did not observe any difference in terms of responses between the treatment uh, experimental arm and the standard arm. A 76% objective response rate was reported in the, the full FOX plus panitumumab arm versus a 73% in the experimental arm. No difference in early tumor shrinkage, in the deepness of response, in the radical resection of metastasis, in progression-free survival, but increased adverse events and in particular gastrointestinal adverse events, G3 and 4 diarrhea with the experimental strategy. So the take home message in my opinion from this very long experience in 57 Italian centers is that when we properly target our population selecting both molecularly and clinically those patients that are more likely to benefit from the targeted strategy then there is no need to push towards a more intensified chemotherapy backbone. In fact the 88% of patients in this trial had a left-sided primary tumor and we know that in this subgroup it is more probable to achieve very good results with the anti-GFR agent. At ASCO 
in the oral abstract session in colorectal, an interesting uh, Italian independent uh, trial uh, was uh, presented. The name is IMPROVE, and uh, it aims um, at uh, evaluating two different uh, treatment strategies in the first line therapy of uh, RAS and BRAF wild type metastatic colorectal cancer patients. Uh, 137 patients were randomized to receive a Fulfiri plus Panitumumab until the evidence of disease progression, and then uh, a second line treatment at investigator choice, or Fulfiri plus Panitumumab, the same regimen, up to eight cycles, meaning four months of therapy, then followed by treatment break. And after the evidence of disease progression, the reintroduction of the same regimen was recommended by the study protocol. The primary endpoint is quite original, and it is the percentage of patients that are free of progression on treatment uh, 12 months after randomization. This is a not comparative trial, but both trials, both arms are tested against a null historical hypothesis. And uh, the primary endpoint was met in both arms. The performance of both arms was really interesting. The progression-free survival on treatment was longer for the intermittent rather than the continuous strategy. And uh, clearly we need more data in terms of progression-free survival and overall survival to properly put these results in the context of the first line treatment of these patients and in particular to understand whether these treatment breaks somehow impair the efficacy of the therapy or not in the overall continuum of care of metastatic colorectal cancer patients. In the intermittent arm there was a slightly uh, lower incidence of some uh, G3 and 4 adverse events and in particular of skin rash thus making this strategy quite appealing for the next future for these patients. Mm -hmm.